you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. And today I'm gonna be going over what you guys need to be doing in Madden 20 right now in Mutt Hero. So if you guys haven't seen my first video or seen YouTube at all today, you, I mean, if you, ha you probably have, so you probably already know that Mutt Heroes has dropped. And guys, there's so much stuff you can do right now to take advantage of Mutt Heroes, maximize profits. There's so much to go over guys. But before we get into all that, just wanna let you guys know, so far, my overall opinion on the promo is at first I was iffy about it, but now going into it, a lot of cool cards, a lot of cards you can pick up, a lot of ways to take advantage and get cards for pretty cheap. As I have here, I already have a few guys that I'll go over in the video. Like I said, I already have, let's see, the David DeCastro got him pretty cheap. I already have, so you can power up Ramsey even more. You can power up Saquon to an 89. I'll go over all that in the video, guys. So stay tuned for all that. Before we get into the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. We're at 9.2K. Let's start grinding out to 10K. And also, before I forget, guys, I'm doing another one of those giveaway days. So I'll be giving away 100K today for anyone who comments down below 100K. And all you gotta do is like the video to enter. So the like threshold for today will be 750 likes. If any video today that I post in general has 100, I mean 750 likes, and you comment down below 100K and you like the video, obviously, you'll be entered to win. So all we gotta do is hit the like threshold like I've been doing. We've hit it twice out of the three times I've done it probably do it today and tomorrow and then stop doing it again so guys don't miss out on that drop the like in the video guys let's get into this video so first thing that you want to be doing in mud in mud in mud heroes in general you want to come over to challenges so we will be getting a free mud hero player from this solo sequence so to get that you all you need is 140 stars the 140 stars is not accessible yet it'll probably be accessible sometime early next week so i'd recommend getting your 70 stars done now so that when the next set does drop you can get a head on over and start and get your player as quickly as possible now i will be dropping a ranking video within the next day or so going over the players that i like out of the 32 and then i'll drop one going over who should take from the fantasy pack i'll do that all together in the next day or so so for the time being you can't get them yet anyways so just i'll get them done now so that when it does come out you don't have to it won't be so overwhelming to have to do all these solo challenges all at once next thing you want to be doing is guys if you come on over to the store they did give us a dollar pack for a free sidekick player i shouldn't say free Let's see where it is. It should be somewhere all the way back here. I guess it is not because I used it already. So it's $1.50 for 185 to 86 overall sidekick player. So I'd recommend you get that pack and use it on whatever player you wish to complete the set of. So for me personally, I did David DeCastro. Because if you look at David DeCastro, he's the best right guard in the game. He's better than Larry Allen. So I figured like I needed that upgrade at right guard. So if you come over to offense or in defense, either one. So David DeCastro, the way this set works is you need one high overall sidekick one low overall sidekick and then you just need a bunch of wild card high overall sidekicks and low overall sidekicks so all in all these probably i snipe if you just sit there and you filter them out properly get them for about 10k so it was 10k i needed 14 of them so that's 140k these i got for about 40k each so that's about 120k so that's about 260k i got this for free from the pack and i got this for about 10k so it came out to like 260 270 k give or take which is a pretty good price for DeCastro, in my personal opinion. And also, guys, if you would, if you don't want DeCastro, again, this works for about anyone. You can go over to anyone you want here, and just do the you just take whatever their high piece is. Now, what I would be doing right now, guys, is that first off, you want to come over to the market. I personally think that the first thing you always want to do when a promo drops, right when it drops, is head on over to the market and see how you can take advantage. So for me, it was that when they first dropped. People panic sell these cards really quickly because they want to just get their coins back for them. But people don't realize that when you're panic selling like that, everything's going to be really cheap. So people, should, I mean, in my opinion, you should always wait and don't sell right away. So if you come over to the Mud Hero thing, a lot of these guys are being sold for really cheap right now as it is. So 189,000 coins and it takes to get this pack to get them, it costs 6,000 training, which is definitely way more than the 189k tag they're going for. So what I went and did was, so like for David Johnson, when he first came out, he was going for, a, I got him for 175K. Then from uh, Mitch Morris, I got him for about 180K flat. So obviously, I don't know if I'll keep either one of them. I just picked them up because they seemed like they were cheap enough. And obviously, some cards are coming down, like David Bakhtiari's at 230. Xavier Howard's already at 230. Let's see what DeCastro's going for. DeCastro is going for a little over 300K, so that's what I mean. Like, I got him for a pretty good price. So for me, you guys just... What I would do is head on over to the market, see what you think is a value at the price they're going for. Pick up whoever you want if you need so. Remember that these are only the first 16 cards. There will be more coming. Now, if you guys don't already know, you can get some of the unreleased cards already pretty close to at least. So to show you guys what I'm talking about that, 
So they have a 91 overall Saquon Barkley coming out Wednesday. And obviously, I didn't want to wait till Wednesday. So I checked. And you're able to power them up already all the way onto their full card. So Saquon Barkley is an 89 overall for me. So to show you guys what I mean, prior to his, his thing being out, he was a 84. So he was an 84. But now you can power him up. I powered him up to tier 9, which is 89 overall Saquon with really good stats. He got a 91 carrying, 85 elusiveness, 80 stiff arm, 89 juke, 90 spin. And he's got, let's see, let's see, 92 break tackle. And I believe he's got like an 86 speed. So pretty awesome. And then obviously he'll eventually get to this card, which is really, really good stats. Now he does hit the spin and juke threshold. He also is really fast, has a really good carry, good acceleration, 94 agility. This card's going to be a monster. And obviously he's going to have some pretty good abilities, as we can see when the time does come. But we can't do any of that yet. But me personally, like I said, I would be upgrading them now. You're going to upgrade them anyways. So get it done now. And you can even use Saquon right now. He's a really good 89 overall card to be using right now. Now, another guy for me is I'll be probably picking up Jalen Ramsey. So I went ahead and I upgraded Ramsey now and I made him even better. So he's now an 89 overall instead of an 88. I powered him up a little bit more. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about if you go to the upgrade screen. Prior to this card, he was right here at an 88 right about there i powered him up so now his stats went up a little bit more he's now has a 91 man 88 zone 87 play rack 91 press his speed did not go up on this upgrade but again this card right here his speed will go up tremendously for at least the card that he, he goes from an 84 speed to an 89 speed so that's really huge for a jalen ramsey card especially considering how good his uh his intangibles are like all of his, uh, his intangibles his other stats like you combine that with some athleticism beastly beastly corner also guys remember that we did get our kyler murray upgrade today so he now is an 80 overall by the way, expect a gameplay coming today. I'm not telling you what yet, but there is going to be a gameplay for you guys probably at some time today. I know you guys have been asking for it. So when you wrap all that up, right, you got the market. Make sure you take what you need. But remember, these are only the first 16 cards, so don't overdo it now. I didn't want to overspend that much on the first wave. I just picked up a few guys for some gameplays and stuff. Then I'll probably go ahead and sell some of them. But for me right now, in the first drop, there's not many cards that I really wanted from the first drop. I'll go over real quick what I thought was useful for the first drop of cards. For me, it was on offense. I like David DeCastro. I kind of like Greg Olson. And that's about it. That's for the, for the offense. So those are cards that I was really concerned with. And then for defense, I'm more concerned with Xavier Howard. And that's also about it. Like, I mean, the first drop's a little underwhelming for me and the way my team's built. And I wouldn't personally touch much of my team right now. All I really picked up was that David DeCastro for my team and Mitch Morse. I'm only using Mitch Morse for now. And then I'll see how he plays. And then I might just end up going back to Kevin Mawai. But... I would wait for the second wave. We got a lot, a lot better cards coming out. Some more 91s coming out, and a, a lot of, a lot of beastly cards. And remember, guys, we also do get two free fantasy packs. So we're going to get one free fantasy pack from the solo challenges, and then one free fantasy pack from house rules. Both have been confirmed. So expect that you will be getting at least two. So account for that. So for me, I think I'll be taking probably Saquon and Jalen Ramsey. Like I said, I will be going over two videos within the next few days of ranking all of them. And then I will also go in depth on ranking my top 10 that I would pick from the Nat Fantasy Pack and give you guys reasons for why I'll be doing that. So, so far, Mud Heroes is really cool. I do like it. We should have a house rules coming this Tuesday. Some more cards dropping Wednesday, cards dropping Thursday, and cards dropping Friday. We have like we have four total waves today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That should be the bulk of Mutt Heroes. And then at that point, pretty much by next Friday, it'll be like what? A week from today. So the 11th. And then at that point, it's almost most fear time. So we're just gonna keep rolling into new promos. Gonna be a really, really good time for Madden, in my opinion. And from you guys right now, I wouldn't drop your coin stack right at this exact moment. I'd hold on to a good amount of it. Buy what you need. Like I wanted Saquon, I wanted Ramsey powered up, and I wanted DeCastro. Now wait, because again, remember, once you finish and you get your Mud Hero cards, don't kill your coin stack. Because come a week from today, it, we're, we're going to be heading into almost most fear territory and the end of Mud Heroes already. So I wouldn't go all in just yet. And also, if you guys want to take try your luck, there is the 9091 random hero. It costs six thousand trading, which give or take that probably costs about like I'd say about 200k, 210 to 220k for a pack. So a lot of them will be a lot of them will be either break evens or profits. A few of them will you will lose on. If you want to try to get like a DeCastro or a Chris Harris or a Wagner, you could most certainly go for that. Although I will not be taking my chances considering if you get a 90, you'll probably end up just breaking even or losing coins in the reduction. And in my I'd rather wait for the next wave to drop when there's a lot of higher cards available in packs that are more valuable to most people. And then again, there's the sidekicks and a few other things are like the random low sidekicks, high sidekicks. You could reroll those if you guys do feel so inclined. I don't know if I'm going to take my chances with that. I'm not much of a gambler when it comes to this stuff. But yeah, final tips. Market. Make sure you take advantage of what you can. I will be making a market video for you guys regarding how to go about Mud Heroes probably tomorrow. I will be doing the rankings. I'll be doing a gameplay with some Mud Heroes and so on and so forth, guys. 
So that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If this did help you guys in any way, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys, to get to 10k. And if you haven't already, remember, 750 likes on any video today, and I will be giving away 100,000 coins, which could help you get a Mutt Hero. So make sure to drop a like on the video, boys. Stay tuned for the Mutt 10 release today and a gameplay. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.